Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to another Legacy Cube Draft here on the Magic the Gathering show. I'll be your host, Numat the Nummy. And uh, we'll be first picking one of my favorite cards. No, just kidding. There's no, 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 none of these cards are my favorite cards. I don't like this pack at all. I don't feel so good. I'm tempted to just take the days. September resub is a dollar, guys. If you want to support the content and you got gifted a sub, BSP4, thank you so much for the for the sub sub. If you guys want to support the content and uh, make sure you resub for one bone in September. Sword or invocation or unfollow? I don't believe you. I don't believe you for a second. Also, invocation is really weird. Sword is good. I like sword. I can get behind a sword. You know what? I'm gonna take the sword. Sold. Oh, factor fiction and a scarab god? Well, butter my biscuit. I think it's scarab god. I think scarab god is so strong. See, I drafting jank is one thing, but like drafting a card, I don't know how good the applications are in this cube, right? Like if you play a three drop after you play Sunbird's Invocation, what do you get to look at? Three cards and play one that costs three or less? Like that's so restrictive. Your odds of having that are so small. Sunbird's Invocation is a constructed card because in order to have it work the way you want it to, you really have to have the correct cards in your deck. How are we going to go Mono Sword? There's no sword in this pack. I'm taking Scarab God. Scrabble God. Well, you are my Amazon Prime sub, so at least buy a sword. <laughs> there and there. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. I will shut up and take your money. Here's the uh, here's the last our last match, which was a win, which was a victory. Also, we drew so many cards with that deck, too. Oh, Snapcaster? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Also, Worm Coil's fantastic, but it ain't no Snapcaster Mage. Also, if Go for the Throat or Sensor comes back, I'd be fine with that. I'll even take a Vindicate. Snapcaster, Vindicate, Snapcaster. From one corner to another. Uh -huh. Why is this song stuck in my head? Nobody knows. Why do you guys keep saying mono swords? I don't understand. We saw one. We saw one sword so far. Half the swords aren't even good. There's only three swords that are good: Feast and Famine, Body and Mind, and Fire and Ice. And it's a Bober step, not a Brober. You don't know anything about Bobers, do you? You can't just be adding red to Bobers. Well, this pack's pretty bad for us. No black cards, no blue cards, no swords. I think it's just miscalculation. It's kind of like a bad mana leak that you can cycle in the late game. I assume you guys know what miscalculation is. Yeah, that's why the song stuck in my head. Because <laughs> the cause the singers, who I don't even, I can't even picture in my head right now, are hot. That's why. That's why. Nailed it. Come on, Edward. FFS, Edward. Clearly, I am Bober ignorant. It's okay. Everyone is Bober ignorant in one time, and then and then you, and then you evolve. You Bober evolve. I mean, if you don't if you don't evolve as a bober, how do you become a sober scrober? That's the question we ask ourselves. Also, miscalculation and snapcaster. That's a combo. Do you guys know how combos work? A combo is short for combination, and it's when you have two cards that interact favorably together when uh, when in each other's presence. So, like a like a bober and a sober scrober, like those are that that would also be a com combo. Boba ignorant? Yeah, that's 
Yeah, that's the Gruel Legend. I'm going to take this Ophiomancer because upheaval is actually not a thing in this cube. Upheaval is the biggest friggin' trap. Because there's no mana. There's no mana rocks. There's nothing to ramp into it. You just go turn six, upheaval, go. And then it's just you restart the game and it's not it's not enjoyable. I'm going to take the Ophiomancer, which is very good. And it also wears a sword. I'm going to take Control Magic. If you happen to watch any of the Channel Fireball guys, they don't like Control Magics because they think they're fair cards. I don't think they're fair in this particular cube. Maybe so. Maybe more so in the Vintage Cube. But not here, my, my friends. Not here. I will steal all of your things. Also, this deck is looking spicy. Like a like a Taco Bell burrito. Islands in the stream. That is what we are. Do -do -do -do. Scootin' beatin' do. It's a locust god. I kinda like locust god, and here's why. Nicopolis. Profane Command is good. It's always been very, very good for me. So we lie for each other. I don't really care about Baral. I think it's either Profane or Locust God. It's probably Profane. I'll take Locust God. I'm going to double up on Gods. I have yet to play Locust God in this cube. So let's do that. Also, this is a good Chandra. I'll take the good Chandra. We could actually just splash the black at this point. We got two nice and easy black cards, so... <laughs> for God Tron. No, I don't think Scorpion God is in the queue, which is kind of funny because it says like, all right, he's just that bad. I'm just here for the singing. Well, have I got news for you. We're going to sing all day. Magic is just a nice bonus. I think you mean... Locust God in Sylvan Library, not Scorpion God. Scorpion God has no interaction with with Sylvan Library. It's either Fatal Push or Liliana. I think it's Fatal Push. Especially because we have Snappy. Hypnotic Spectre. Yeah, that's that's where you that's where you want to be. I don't care about these red cards right now. Stagger Shock's okay. Rampaging Ferocidon is okay. You're right, I got caught up in the Scorpion God conversation. That's okay, gods are confusing. There's a lot of them. Old man snappy. Wait, I don't think we see I don't think we saw any uh any Grixis lands. Maybe we saw a Maybe we saw like a Steam Vents really early. Wow, they are just We have a pyroclasm. I don't know if we also need an anger. It's also double red. I like Teferi a lot. I'll just take that in case we like Shivan Fire. Sure. God, that's a late blight Brightling. Bright Blightling. It's Brightling, but I wanted to say Blightling because it sounds it sounds sickly. What just happened? Spencer, four months in a row. It's your boy. Thank you so much, buddy. You are my you are my favorite Spencer. And I know a lot of Spencers. I don't know that many Spencers. God, Nicol Bolas is in this pack, guys. This is literally why we did it. Do we just take the Tarn and hope Nicol Bolas tables? I feel like we have to.
I don't know what to do. Nicobolus is like our our man. He's our man in Amsterdam. But we gotta take this Tarn, I think. Like, if we take Nicobolus, we're not gonna be able to play without the Tarn anyway. Oh, it felt so bad. It was like a physical pain. Oh, okay, I feel better now. <laughs> That's... I feel rejuvenated now. Also, if this dismiss comes back. Alright, well, we're doing it. I also think that uh, the bullets will come back. I have my fingers crossed. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Pack Rat. I like Remove Soul a lot. I like Pack Rat a lot, too, but... I feel like Remove Soul could be very good at Snapcaster Mage. I feel like Pack Rat could be good with the other cards in our deck. 59 other cards. Bolus Hubris. <laughs> the Bolus Pride goes before the fall, I hear. Oh, boy. Well, if we're counting the, Thana the Theros gods, too, it's not really Godtron. It's more like six gods. You don't think desktop audio is coming through? That's weird. Oh, that's interesting. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. It looks like it's coming through. That's weird. I'm going to take Remove Soul here. I think it's better with Snapcaster. And having things to go with Snapcaster is nice. I can also just take Damnation here. Where are all my lands at? I'm going to also... I'm trying to I'm trying to take things that... Uh, yeah, I'm going to take the Damnation. We're going to be a control deck. Lava Claw Reaches seems good. Ooh, Grave Daddy? We don't actually have to be red here, you see. Grave Daddy, can you dig my grave? We could take Lava Claw Reaches. And we could also just lean towards blue-black. I think Grave Titan's too good to pass here. Thank Riperk, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Okay, Splinter Twin's pretty good here. We're just going to take the Splinter Twin. Oh, well, Legacy's Allure is nice. I like Repeal, but <clears throat> Legacy's Allure is just control magic, right? Oh my god, did it? It's next pack, right? Oh boy. we Our lands are pretty rough. Take part the Water Bill. I don't foresee us playing any of the other cards. Like, Desecration Demon's fine, but I, I could care less about it. I don't like Stroke of Genius, uh, and Disfigure we don't really need. We have Remove Soul, Miscalculation, and Fatal Push. So, we also have Shiv and Fire Magma Jet in the sideboard in case we're going that route. This deck's kind of all over the place. I don't know what to make of it. The Nickel Bolus didn't come back? I feel so bad. I don't want to be a part of any of this anymore. Burr, 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 burr. <clears throat> Into the Royal came back. That's pretty gassed. All right. Uh, we don't really have any combos with Maloku. Dark Petition should be fine, especially because we have enough... <sighs> this guy's actually pretty good here, right? I don't think we need red. Like, we have 20, 20 cards already. Our sideboard's comically... I mean, like, the thing is, if we took Nicol Bolas, we would be playing it anyway, right? I don't know. The thing is, if we get Underground C, we can still play Scalding Tarn, so...
You can you make it shallow? <coughs> Tempest Jin, even that dude's playable. Hey, want a pile of commons? I'm going through sorting cards and keeping play sets of all the commons and finding out when you open cases of master sets, you end up with kind of a lot of commons. <coughs> you just found out the biggest problems in Magic the Gathering. Probably not playing this guy. We have a whole other pack after this, too. Our deck is looking good. Our deck's looking good! I don't think it's a recurring nightmare. It's not a recurring nightmare deck. Could be Frosty. <clears throat> I like Gonti a lot, actually. I think it's Gonti. I want a 4-mana card rather than a 3-mana card, so I don't think Jace Bellerin's where we want to be. I also like Dark Slick Shores, but we are two colors, so I'm not totally concerned with the Dark Slick Shores. I think I just want to take the Gonti. She likes to Gonti all the time, Gonti all the time. Gonti all the time. Woo! Damn, boy, he's thick! Boy, that's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Ba -ba! Rewarded. Here comes the thick meme! <laughs> oh, man, that's perfect. That's perfect. If this is our deck, I'm totally fine with it. I would play 18 lands and whatever we have here. I mean, I assume a third pick Jace the Mind Sculptor is coming if that Consecrated Sphinx made it here, so. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's because Sphinx is a weird garbage pile with wings. I don't think you're actually wrong. I think that's correct. <clears throat> well, we got a Deceiver Exarch, so that's pretty cool. And we got a Splinter Twin over here. But I can't. we can't mess up the mana base for that, unfortunately. I think we just take Bitter Blossom. What's our life gain looking like in this deck? I think it's none. Non-existent. Non-existent. So we just got the 20 to work with, and that's it. Crux of Fate actually could be nice. I like Bitter Blossom because it holds a sword. Do we have any other interactions with Bitter Blossom? Not really. I think I'm just going to take this in case things go differently. Plus, it's also not unplayable. I don't hate a reflecting pool. It becomes a dual land if you have a plains, a uh, swamp, and an island. Kira could be good here. Kira is always very good when I have creatures that aren't Kiki Jiki Splinter Twin. <clears throat> I don't care about flats right now. Same reason I don't care about Tarn. We just don't have any land. We don't have Watery Grave or uh, Underground Sea. So I'm just gonna take the Reflecting Pool. I'm pretty sure we can find one card here somewhere. Well, the problem with Kira and the Sword is that you actually have to uh, equip it twice. But, I mean, I think that's fine. It's not like a... I want to take the Force Spike because we I want to got him. Oh, Belzy. Oh, it's a little Belzy. I don't think we have enough creatures for Whip to be good. Only ten creatures. Nimble Obstructionist is probably the pick. We already have Grave Titan, Consecrated Sphinx. It's probably going to be Nimble Obstructionist here. Yeah, I don't think Bitter Blossom is coming back. I'm going to take the Nimble Obstructionist. <clears throat> wow, Batter Skull and Cyclonic Rift? I 
My girl likes to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. <coughs> I like Cyclonic Rift better than Into the Royal. Batter Skull is cool, but I don't think I. C I have no idea what Alexa just said. Alexa, stop. I have no idea what she was saying. Distended Mindbender could be good. She was like, Matthew Riley, R. Gabriel. And I was like, what are you saying? I have no idea what you're saying right now. It was kind of creepy. I felt really, I felt uncomfortable. I think it's actually Dissipate. We don't actually have any hard counters here. It's not Mindbender. We don't have enough creatures to Mindbender. I'm going to take the Dissipate. Wow, Dark Slick Shores came back. So did Frost Titan and Rager. I'm going to take Dark Slick Shores so we can have at least... Oh, that's gas. Oh, Crux of Fate came back too. That's pretty cool. Oh, Kira came back too? Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, well our deck looks like amazingness. I'm going to take the Dark Petition out. It's a little clunky. And now we have a Time Warp. And we have Part the Water Veil. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, huh? We're gonna make one cut. <clears throat> I want to say Thassa, but we have Teferi, Night Veil Spectre, Legacies Allure. We actually have... Thassa's a real threat in this deck, I think. Time Warp and Sphinx are so bad together. Yeah, you can't draw any cards. What's the deal? I want my opponents to take turns so I can draw cards. <clears throat> it might be Dissipate. We have Miscalculation, Force Spike, and Cryptic Command. I can see cutting Dissipate. <clears throat> yeah, this deck looks great. I'm not going to play Scalding Tarn. We'll play Reflecting Pool and, and Dark Slick Shores. Reflecting Pool has been overperforming. Six nine, I'll go eight seven. Done. Oh, that's true. We can just be like, take an extra turn. Two more cards. <laughs> this deck seems great. This is one of the better blue black control decks I think we've drafted. Damnation is also pretty cool. Maybe the damnation comes out. Maybe we want Dissipate over Damnation. I think we do. And then we just bring in the Damnation against the aggressive decks. I like that better. This is a <clears throat> this is a Thassa with three pips already. Three pips, pipperinos, three pipperonis. Yeah, I don't care about that. No one cares about that. Always yes and always yield. I'm never going to be like, no, don't put a counter on this. It just... Legacy's Allure is a card that only gets better with counters on it. Never gets worse. Wow, cool. Cool, cool, bro. You're a real cool bro. Cool dude. I wow, whoa, whack, uh, 1800. I feel like that's probably... We're just going to keep Misdirection up because we don't have anything to put Sword up anyway, so... And by Misdirection, I meant Miscalculation, so... Magic's hard.
She wasn't even really a creature. She did nothing wrong. Yikes. <clears throat> well, that's awkward. One thing we can do is Cyclonic Rift her and then steal her. I think we'll just pass. <laughs> oh no, it gets countered. Oh no. <clears throat> Yo, I can have this. Getting to miscalculate a cryptic command is probably the most baller thing you can do. And I get to steal your Kira. Also... Pretty baller. Pretty baller. <clears throat> well, now we're just going to keep up our own cryptic command. Or we take a turn off to sword. Yeah, I think we're doing that. Because next turn we can double equip and queue up cryptic command. We have to just hope that this is not the turn where they do something degenerate. <coughs> that was a solid miscalculation that happened there. I was a fan. Hit them in the face with their own little idiot. <laughs> that's what we're doing. Uh, that's what we're doing. Oh, that thing turned into a... Did you see that? It turned into an Emrakul real quick. If this is what you're doing, I feel okay about it. Oh, that's cringy. I mean, if we draw a land, we're just playing Grave Titan, right? Maybe. Oh, no, we're, we're equipping and then playing Grave Titan. We're probably just going to actually bounce Teferi if they do anything. They have two cards. Man, a bold strategy, Cotton. Um, counter spell a return a dude. <clears throat> See if you have a counter spell in one of your three cards. Wow, that was amazing. That's pretty good. Sure. Enjoy. Enjoy your little peaky. I mean, if you take if you take if you take anything like 
If we hit a land, we get to Grave Titan, which is pretty insane. I feel like you should have Vendillion clicked first and then... skibbity bop doo 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 Oh look, a land. <laughs> Error. I get to untap two little landies. Good for you. Good for your little landies. They're 100% blocking, right? <clears throat> Actually, we should have played a guy here first. It doesn't. It doesn't. It matters. I want to say it doesn't matter. It matters. We should have played a guy first. We're going to be playing a guy one way or the other. I just assume they're going to be blocking. They're not blocking. Fascinating. Now I feel stupid. Yep, that was pretty stupid. Whatever. Whatever. We know they have a Teferi in one of their cards, so. I mean, they could tuck this, which they probably should have done like three turns ago, but I guess if they do that, then they're just, their Teferi just insta-dies to Kira. <laughs> Was that a joke? Did they forget about their own Kira and then they just throw away the control magic? Wow. The shame scoop after the control magic on the Grave Titan. That's amazing. Oh boy. Oh god. It's 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 like a big yellow, it's big blue letters. That's fantastic. Kira's so good. <clears throat> wow. That's great. That's great. That's just great. <clears throat> uh, I can see bringing care of our own, especially when they have control magic, but I think it's fine. I mean, it was your card. I had your Kira. I think our deck is fine. I could see playing Scalding Tarn just to trigger Fatal Push, actually. I'm pretty sure your wow was in the same key as that sound. Maybe. Burp, 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 wow. I would imagine that's actually uh, possible. <clears throat> oh, getting chills here. I just got to chill. This hand is slow, but I'm gonna I'm gonna trust in the the heart of the cards here. My grandfather's deck has no pathetic cards. 
My oh, this is great that we don't have to actually worry about anything before it is a dissipate. Dissipate. It feels so nice. Gonna dissipate. Do I care about this idiot? No, I don't care about 3-1 Flyer. I should, but I don't because we have Consecrated Sphinx. Yeah, the hero was what we were afraid of, to be quite honest. Like, I feel like they would go, hero, thing. Well, that was a good draw. They're just never going to play anything again? Sure. <clears throat> this is very strange. I'm not sure I don't understand what's going on right now. They have five cards. I think we're dead. I don't feel like we can get past whatever they have. Our cards are too expensive. Like, if we had an Ashiok or, like, a Nightfail Spectre, it'd be very good here, but... Like, they're literally just playing the I'll-sit-behind-the-sky-all-game plan, and that's fine, but... We're not drawing anything that costs any reasonable amount here. They have counter spells in three turn, they have to do anything. Clearly, yes, I'm I'm familiar with how control matchups work good, sir. I mean, 100% I was afraid if we actually countered this guy, they just go play something even scarier. <clears throat> but... Yep, we're just going to go to the next game. They have lethal on board, we can't really do anything about it. Maybe Fatal Push isn't actually great in this deck. In this matchup, rather. Um, <laughs> they're holding up counter. I have a creature on the board, so no need to tap it. Yeah, I don't understand why you guys are saying this. I literally confirmed that. I understand how the control deck works. Like, you just play a threat and you just sit behind it the whole game. You have no reason to play anything. I wasn't asking why they weren't playing anything. I'm just explaining that they're not going to. I boldly feel like our deck is better, <laughs> but that might not matter. Guys, do you know why they didn't tap out and play anything else after they had three damage on board? Isn't the, isn't the goal of magic to get as many permanents on the board as you can? Explain it to me, guys.
They do love their sideboarding, though. Boy, he sure loves his sideboarding, doesn't he? Uh, snap keep. <clears throat> the snappest of keeps. Turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four. Oh, God. Can't even. Somebody kill me, please. He or she might be adding more counter magic. Yeah, they're like, well, what other what other cards can I board in here? <clears throat> they try to do it again. They're like, I'll get him again with this one creature on the board, this one floaty boy. One floaty boy. The pipes, the pipes are calling floaty boy. You gonna do this jobby again? Put that dude away, I just don't care. Four spiked two things. Don't play a planes into Hero of Blade Hold. You did not. Yeah, I don't care about that. I would have liked to land here so we could slam Scarab God, but then they just go control magic and then it's just really bad. So I guess we'll just keep up our two counter spells. And we'll win the race. Should I try to control magic this guy? Well, if we hit lands here, we would be in good shape. We could time warp. We could play things. But, uh, but nay. Hey, that's pretty good. They have four cards in hand, huh? I will gladly trade for your land. If you want to activate Amisha's factory and trade with a Snapcaster Mage. Put it in the trash can. I'm really surprisingly scared of their control magic, especially when they have Kier on board. Hmm. What do you do? Hmm. Taking that too. Sounds good. Deal. Well, they are hitting more lands than us. Right, but we have to put something else on the board is the problem. So, like, we can't actually advance our board without taking down Cryptic Command. Is this a trade? This is a good trade. Oh, it gets the pump itself, doesn't it? <laughs> that doesn't work. Oh, that's gas, dude. Your own Kira got you twice. Wow, that's fantastic. Oh my god. They 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 you should really check out this card and see what it does. It seems very good.
All right, four cards in hand. <clears throat> so five, six, seven. We want nine mana to play Scarab God and keep up Remove Soul. Or to just play Scarab God and Vendillion click them to... Uh, Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no Mind Twist in the Legacy Cube. For one, it's not legal in Legacy, so that's a good reason. That's a dude I can play, right? Five, six, seven. Nope, can't do that. But it's also not a dude I care about them hitting. Eh, I kind of care. I want a time. Ah, and then they counter that. Oh, it's so bad. Nope, can't do it. So we can go to 8. If we hit a land, we can Gaunti, which is nice. That's cool. Burr, 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 burr. All right, <clears throat> on the board. Sorts the plowshares off the board. I guess I'm just hoping you have a handful of stupid things and n nothing that deals with this because I really want to just get a hit in, get a land, start stealing your things. I guess they could control magic it. They have 8 mana, so they could control magic and then counter our cryptic command, but uh, I guess then we Windmill Slam Consecrated Sphinx, and then control magic is no longer a threat, and they've tapped out. Yeah, we're just going to do this. And then they're going to do... Yep. Wow. <sighs> this is the worst feeling match I've had in a long time, unfortunately. Especially when our, our opponent literally doesn't know how their own cards work. <laughs> That's the worst part. Yep. Fascinating. Oh wow, Force of Will. Force of Will seems very good. We could also just play Seeker of the Way here. Oh yeah, we're going to play Force of Will. Alrighty then, now I feel actually a lot safer thanks to Force of Will. We go to four, but I don't think they have a ton of ways to really break through damage here. Consider which counter spell you'd like to use. Put a bullet in my head. 
Discarded land tax and monastery mentor. Oh, that resolved. What are the odds they have control magic? A million. Oh, they have one card in hand and we get to remove soul this? Oh my god. Everything has changed. Cool. Actually, we'll get to go Scarab God into Archangel Avacyn, which is pretty sick. Of course, that was your last card. <laughs> Why wouldn't it have been? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Any life gainy bros? Hmm. Control magic is what they hit. Amazing. Oh, we know you have an island. Wow. So their last two cards have been path control magic. Ashiok can go on the bottom. We don't really need him right now. What a friggin' game! Win that dude at one life, thanks to Scarab God. Dodging Avacyn Path Exile, this force of will, countering their their forbid, which they discarded two cards to. That's like a four for one, right? Because they didn't get the force of will. It was our four. Well, no, because we got rid of... Uh, we exiled our own control magic because I didn't think it was going to be... Uh, very useful. Wow, that was phenomenal. Kira does seem great. You can see how difficult Kira is. Also, if you control magic their their creature, uh, your Kira just gets better. The only problem with Kira is it makes Sword of Feast and Famine harder to equip. Wow, that was a hell of a game. One life is one life, boys. And they top decked, they top decked control magic. So if we didn't actually, of course they top decked control magic. So if we didn't actually Scarab God for Vendillion click there, we would have just lost our Scarab God and the game would be totally over. Like we had to do it in their draw step. We had to hit the card they drew and without giving them a chance to play it. Unbelievable. Every decision in magic games is relevant. Every decision is relevant. I will play first. That's not the choice that I just made. I will join the event. No blue, but I'm going to keep this hand anyway because we have two plays. Three plays. We have plays, four days, and we're on the draw, so... Oh. I see. 
Well then. I got no roof on my home. Ooh. Thank you. Interesting. X Turbo, thank you so much for the X Tubo. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Do I just fatal push this guy? Get shot for one, but like. Dark slick shores would be nice. Island would be nice. One island turns into two thanks to reflecting pool. Welp. Did they not shoot? Oh my god, that's weird. <laughs> Alright, well. Hi, how are you doing? Why are you being so needy and grumbly? I don't understand it. Well, I'm not going to block your 4-4. Four -four. Are they just mono blue? The mono blue deck is great in this cube. Why do I keep getting the feeling no one knows how their cards work? You're going to pay costs. Vencer. Cool, dude. Yeah, I feel like this is an unbeatable start, unfortunately. Maybe they didn't think I would ever fatal push that, so they just shot me in the face. Or they just uh, f 6 rather. No blocks. Did target me with the Ancestor Vision? They didn't draw a land? Huh. So you didn't crack this to deal an extra point. I'm going to scoop here because we just lose to this, but I, I don't understand anything that happened in that game. You're clearly mono blue. I want to bring in Kira because it makes... Kira just seems good. I'm, I'm being an idiot for not playing Kira. Also, they ironically seem like a good deck for Damnation. Fatal Push seems kind of meh. And I'll do I'll do a forty one special. I'm fine with that. Yeah, keep snap keep. Fatal Bush kills Ben Spencer when they bounce, sure. I don't know if we're in damnation mode here. The problem is we just brought in like another creature and now we're tempted to damnation. What in damnation? Oh, a hollowed fountain. Fascinating. Yeah, now we're just playing that. You gonna miscalculate me? No. Look at this guy. I think we can just wait a turn. 
We can play sword here. That was a great draw. Great! What is this guy? Attack for three next turn if they play an island? Oh, it's each basic island you control. It doesn't even count this island. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, we're just going to play sword here. I don't want to throw a creature away when we can... We could potentially damnation next turn. This is one of those situations where it's just like, I'll just play Tempest Jin and make you do something. And I'm like, okay. You win, blue deck. The problem is there's a real tension between Damnation and Legacies of Lore where, like, Damnation wants you to... them to play creatures, and uh, Legacies of Lore is like already discouraging them from doing so. It's going to damnation here. I'm not going to I'm probably unlikely to catch up with this unless they miss a land drop. And I really don't want Thassa coming across and attacking us next turn, so... Now we can actually start playing things. Uh, Legacy might be able to steal Thassa, but we are way far away from that happening, right? Like, it has to be a 5-5, five five, so we need like three more turns. Wasteland. And they actually did miss an island, which is pretty comical. Yep, Tamiyo is pretty good. Sure. Tapping down the one land that, uh, that's cringy. Yeah, would have been better if we could sword this guy up or just play a Gonti or even a Teferi this turn, but also if we get to un if we get to play Teferi uh before their their ancestral goes off. Holy Jesus, heavy breathing. The fact that we have Tamio and Wasteland though says that's probably not gonna happen. They're probably gonna wasteland reflecting pool and tap down another land. However, we do get sword to untap all the lands, so I guess we only need one land to... It's actually not terrible. Sure, snake doesn't untap. You got it. Peace out.
Uh, kind of want to attack Tamio here. I don't think I super care about Tamio though. I'd rather just untap my lands and play Akira. Akira, Akira, Ooh, when you talk like that, you make Akira go mad. Seems good. We can't get Teferi because we only have four lands, not five. I and mean, we have another turn. We have one more turn to hit a land drop. So. Cross them Fingeals. Discarded Old Man of the Sea. Okay. What did they do? Oh, they just threw two cards? Sure. Yes, because paying the loyalty is part of the cost. Oh, yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm tempted to steal this, just so we can get in with this. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but... Oh, if we counter this, actually, that this counters the cryptic command because it has no legal targets. Oh my god. Oh, this is going great. Peace out, cryptic command. Oh my god, that's all we needed to do. That's amazing. Oh god, these plays are so good. <sighs> Getting a little hot in here, boys. Wow. That was gas. Also, maybe I don't care about Damnation anymore? I don't know. They don't have a ton of creatures. Like, we saw two creatures that game. We saw Tempest Djinn and uh, Delver of Secrets. Game before that, we saw Tempest Djinn and what else? Anything else? Venser? Like, why did he bring in Damnation, maybe? I don't know. Maybe we want Nimble Obstructionist. I don't know. This hand seems okay. If we can hit lands, this hand seems great. Wow. Cryptic Command with one mode, and then we... With one target, and we and we remove the target. That's fantastic. Yeah, definitely don't think I'm on any sort of whitelist, but I can understand why you'd think so. We did it. We did it, boys. We got a Dissipate or a hyp Hypnotic Spectre. Good to feel smart. At least I think so. <laughs> At least that's what they tell me. Interesting. This is aggressive. So we're playing two base blue decks that have Mutavolts in them? That's interesting. Oh, and then they had Mitra's Factory. That have two two generic man lands in them. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna run this guy out there. Assume you don't have force spike. You hundred percent force spike this if you have force spike. Oh vomit. Lucky, 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 lucky. Where's Michael Barbobly Bow Boo at? He's at work right now. He has a life and a job outside of 
uh, guesting on the stream. Oh, no attack there, huh? Well then. Oh, isn't that special? You have six cards in hand and no... I'm just going to pass here. I have Cryptic Command and Dissipate. I'm going to win this battle. Eventually we can just drop a Teferi. Mike is pretty selfish. All he does is think about himself and his job and... Also, they missed two land drops, so I think we're in good shape here. Oh, yeah. Hachi machi. I'm going to counter and draw. I want to hit a land. And it's a better use of mana, so... This is where they're like, scoop. Oh, that's going to be so good when you... Oh, what? Wait, what? You had a land? Why would you let me... Why would you even give me the option to force spike that? That's very confusing. I'm confused. I'm not feeling very good, Mr. Stark. I am kind of working on a Saturday. Oh, working on a Saturday. Stop friggin' reflecting pooling my land, dude. Oh, it's so annoying. This one, this one reflecting pool. The bane of my existence. Get this dude right out of town. I think this is your deck's only threat, so I feel good about countering that. Alright, well, we're doing well here with three lands. I'm just going to sit back, because if I think I think them playing Teferi, or Tamiyo, is way worse for us. Um, wow, we went from like being in great shape to just... Where are the freaking lands in this deck? Why are we having trouble drawing lands in both games? I don't understand. Being able to force spike a Tamiyo if they play it is significantly better than... One more, one more. Really? Walking Ballista for two? Who even cares about that? Who even cares about your Walking Ballista? This guy will Windmill Slam, though, in the hopes that you do not have a way to deal with it. I guess you can put a counter on this and retrade, but, I mean, that's your turn, so... Or you could just play the Tamiyo now. Oh, Ancestor Vision. Alright, that's fine. No Tamiyo. Fantastic. Venser. If only I had a fourth land on turn eight. That would be fantastic. I would really enjoy Magic the Gathering if that was the case. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. Try again. It's really stupid. <sighs> Turn nine, we have drawn four lands. Seems good. They have one card in hand? Alright, well that's a little more nice. That's a little more nice. However, they're just gonna like... They're just gonna send this dude home, right? Taking what they're giving, cause we're working for a living. Oh, working for a living. Sure. We could have nimble obstructionist. Yes, ma yes. Control magic on master kills the tokens. That was literally what we're gonna do. Sure. That's actually just great. They have one card in hand. Alright, so we should have time to rebuild. I'm pretty sure if they had Force Spike, they would have played it a long time ago. I just want to be able to land a Teferi. That's all I want to be able to do. I'm really tempted to block here because then they... Sh oh, they put a counter on it and shoot it. Yeah, I'll just take two. 
I guess we still trade with the Venser, but I wanted to trade with both. All right, now the game is likely Ovario. I'm just going to make them do it because I want the land to be tapped. I don't know why. Because maybe they won't do it. I don't know. Is it just, we can just play Teferi here or we can keep up. I think we keep up Teferi. What do you think you'll do then? I'm going to play Scarab God because we have an extra turn. And I also like, if they have a counter spell, I'd rather them use it on Scarab God. So. They didn't have a counter spell for control magic, which is surprising. Because that feels counterable. Perfect. 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 And if we get to draw one more land, we get to play Force Spike. I'm not sure it's going to matter, but if they want to play anything here, we can Windmill Slam Teferi, and he should survive, presumably. I actually have someone picking up a monitor. I'm actually going to block this time, because if they tap out to put a counter on this guy, that's totally fine. I have, to, I have someone coming over to pick up a monitor in about 20 minutes, so I'm going to have to take a quick... A quick intermission in this match, unfortunately. Just don't draw a two-mana counterspell, that's all. <sighs> and if we hit a land, we would be able to force spike it. I actually have no words for this. It's kind of un unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Your last two cards were Dismiss, Miscalculate. Just, just fantastic. Just bravo. It's not even a matter of control versus control. It's a matter of like literally drawing Dismiss into Miscalculation. When you have exactly two mana... So you had to hit a land, too, because you only had four lands. Uh, and you put a counter on this guy with four of them. So, like, you had five lands, actually. You had five because you could be able to put a counter on this, and you had one up. Here comes Consecrated Sphinx, right? Hangerback Walker? Sure. Still still don't have mana for, for Consecrated Sphinx. Just incredible. Nope. Definitely not what I wanted you to do. Ah, <sighs> oh, that's annoying. Must be nice being able to draw your lands. Five by turn 13. Seems good. If you can't draw lands, maybe you're not cut out for magic. Fantastic. I don't understand why you get upset when you lose games of Magic the Gathering that you literally didn't really get to interact with. It doesn't make any sense to me. Good times, good times. Well, we get to untap with these dudes. Oh, that's nice. So one, two, three. So they're going to put counters. They're just going to kill this guy, right? Put a counter. Shoot. Seems good. Let's do that. Let's get it off the board. So long. If you can't control your draws, at least control your feelings. 
I want a nimble obstruction as this guy. Ooh, what if we actually equip next turn? They go to block. I guess they would just kill it. Oh, with death touch. And then we nimble obstruction as the... Uh, oh, that sounds very, very good. Oh, they just maze it. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Oh, we get to just eat a, a man land? That's pretty cool. Oh, no, we they, again, again, I guess they maze it, so... Nope, they did not maze it. Okay, that is interesting to me. Man, I went. I remember when I had black mana in our deck. I don't know where it went or six a sixth land even. <sighs> sure. Yeah, I'll give you four cards. Island, Island, Delver, Queller. 100% that's what you're taking. Sure. Now I can eat anything you play. I'll take three, I'll block here, sure. We could have spiked it, but then we can't equip this, and I'd rather equip this because I want it to survive Muta Vault. I don't care about the four spike in that point. Equipping this and, and having it survive when we're at six is really the, the bigger concern for me. And I don't feel like we're safe actually blocking that here, unfortunately. Merfolk Looter and Delver. Okay, you have no white mana. I assume we played an island. Oh, I was going to time warp. I forgot they're just going to stupid friggin' Maze of Ith. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're dead here. Oh my god, I hate Maze of Ith so much. Either way. It's definitely lethal. We block here, we take four. Like, it's 100% lethal. Sure. Yeah, this game, like, went wrong in every single direction. Like, if we drew a basic instead of this reflecting pool, the game wouldn't even be close. Like, it would be a completely different game. It's, un it's actually unbelievable how, how big of a difference the reflecting pool made. Because we would have one extra land for every single turn, leaving us to able to cast all of these cards, and, and sooner. Um, so. Yep. Cool. All right, and we're back. Welcome back to round three of our pretty sweet blue-black deck. Unfortunately, we lost to the lands last last round. <clears throat> I will join this match. How did the thing go? The thing went pretty good. I just sold a monitor. I had it on uh, Craigslist for a long time, and they were like, hey, we'll come get it. And I was like, all right, cool. Don't edit that out in the YouTube video. <laughs> that seems bad. Oh, man. How long was that? 20 minutes about, maybe? I'll keep this hand. This hand seems good. A little slow, but I'm sure we won't play against blue decks, right? Three blue decks in a row.
It's a little aggressive. Legacy's Allure. Yeah, that's basically the same thing. That's basically a more expensive Legacy's Allure. I'm going to play this because I want to keep up Force Spike next turn. I don't think it matters. I guess they could go Island. We'll play this guy. They attempt to Cryptic Command it. And, uh... <laughs> you see how long it took to resolve? They got it. They have it. Getting real tired of Nimble Obstructionist, I'll be honest with you. This card might be amazing in this cube because it just has Flash and it's a flyer, and there's not actually many flyers in this cube. Well, they didn't dismiss it. That's cool. Swords to plowshares. I don't know if there is. I think there's swords in this cube. I think there's swords and path. I guess we're hoping for no land control magic. <laughs> or land treachery. That's also an acceptable option. For spiking a treachery. Chef's kiss, bro. Absolute chef's kiss. You'll be so proud of me on TFNM with a deck full of blue fetches. And shocks and cantrips, no other spells had opponent nearly timing out from playing around counter spells. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. A man after my own heart here. That's wonderful. So they just block here, right? They just block and sacrifice it. Goodbye! I think we're gonna just play Hypnotic Spectre, I guess. Sure. They're so indestructible. <sighs> wow. Force Spike on Treachery, man. That is... That is a thing. We could have played Thassa, sure, but I just don't want to go to... I'd rather just... <laughs> Yo, I could have this. So now you either chump block here or you block here. Either one is fine by me. Oh, baby. Oh, do it. Neither? Okay, there you go. There you go. Get a free card. We can play it. It is a Jace Vryn's Prodigy. Do they scoop here? I would scoop here. I would scoop here. Would you scoop here? I would scoop here. That's a little Buffalo Bill from uh, Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, we definitely have no interest in letting Jace flip. We just got to go Control Magic, Steal Your Lyra, 
Hit you with Night Veil Spectre, untap into Grave Titan. That's a good turn. Of course, if they Wrath of God here or Supreme Verdict, it's it's a bad it's a bad turn. The turn has six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, nineteen damage on board. Hope you got a Wrath. I don't hope you have a Wrath. That was me being sarcastic. So please don't play a Wrath. Oh, God. Oh, I don't care about that. You're going to Tefri this Lyra? That's a solid strategy. Oh, the control magic? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> I don't even think I need to show you this, Thassa, but, like, I might as well, right? Oh, we could have also played Thassa made this guy unblockable. That would have been good, too. Hit your face, hit your face, hit your face, hit your Jace. It's not a Jace, it's a Tefri, but I wanted to keep the rhyme going. Hit your Jason, hit your face. It's not a chase. So we know they have Lyra in hand. What did we hit? Unburial rights? We all. I don't want to actually cast that because then you get the unburial rights. Angel of Serenity. So your one card is a Lyra. Let me cast this guy. That's a online. And like our top deck is, is it three cards down or two cards down? Third from the top, so we get to draw. Yep, yeah, alright, it's game. We would have drawn something and then we would have drawn control magic. Dissipate into control magic, seems good. Okay, so we saw a bunch of big idiots. Nimble Destructionist keeps being a card that I'm like, maybe I need this in the deck. I don't know. Fatal push. Like, what do we see? We saw Angel of Serenity, Lyra, Nimble Obstructionist, which you don't have a great way to trigger it. I just don't think Fatal Push is pulling its weight in these. Kira's pretty. Again, Kira's pretty good. Uh, we'll definitely keep this hand. Island. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Did we? All right. Crack that heath, boy. If they don't play anything and we just go Ashiok, I'm feeling okay about it. I'm almost tempted to just snapcast a rage and start beating down. So we know about treachery. Yeah, if you want to counter this, that's fine. What do we hit? Spell Queller and Serum Visions. Okay. I imagine you're going to crack and play Obstructionist. 
Here we go. Yeah, all right, so you're basically just doing everything we said you're gonna do. You're gonna go to two, then you're gonna go to four, you're gonna go to one, all right, well. We could also just play our own Nimble Obstructionist to get in the way. Make me get into the way. That guy's pretty good. So is Gonti, though. Oh, boy. You get Vendillion Click and a Teferi. Teferi's gone? That's beautiful. Maybe we should have done this first. Next time we can just Teferi. Ooh. I'll take a Lyra. <laughs> Don't make a Lyra out of me. <laughs> if they just attack with Obstructionist, that's fine. He lives. If they attack with both, we can eat a Geist of Saint Draft. Alright, well, I guess that's a thing. I guess you just attack here. No, I guess you attack, attack face with both, and then the angel can go in Ashiok. Or not. Seems inefficient. Sure. Man, damnation here. Let me tell you. Yeah, land's pretty good. Oh, if they have treachery, though? Yikes. I guess we just control magic it, right? We take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, go to 5. Maybe this is a damnation matchup. Maybe we just damnation. They do a lot of things. They're going to treachery. Oh, Venser, their own Lyra? Yeah, that seems good. Yep. That's going to be game. We can't do anything about that. We're definitely bringing in Damnation, though. They have a lot of creatures going wide. Alright. Damnation can come in. Don't actually care about Nimble Obstructionist. I'll keep this hand. Hypnotic Spectre is a good card. Also, if we can just hit lands, we got a three, four, five, and a six. Sure. Well, we hit a land, but it doesn't work for this. Could work for this if we hit another blue <laughs> in the next two turns. Oh, that's a good boy. Reflecting pool. Did they daze us? Or is that the other game? It's hard to tell when we play three blue decks in a row if they if they actually have daze. Cool. Come on, island. Yeah, Hypnotic Spectre is always decent until they actually get rid of it immediately. I 
Island! Hey, that's like an island! I'm just gonna attack with both here. If they want to trade here, I'm okay with it. I'm pretty sure we just time warp here. It doesn't... We don't have anything else to do. And if they want to counter a time warp... <laughs> then they're not going to counter these guys, I guess. They could just have no counters. I don't think we saw that many counters. It also looks like their deck wants to tap out more frequently, so... Hey, deck, I need a six land on turn six. Uh, no, we got you a... We got you a six drop, though. Is that cool? No, that's not cool at all. Okay, well... Sure. Oh, God. Oh, thanks for the land. You said control magic? That's intriguing. I guess you have treachery, so that's cool. It's all making sense now. Alright, I like that a lot. Especially because if they do Treachery, we can actually use Cyclonic Rift next turn, theoretically. Hold me closer, Ophiomancer. Count the Ophios on the highway. Although, they did get to draw Treachery again, so that's cool. Oh, we didn't hit a land. But if they don't get to, if they don't treachery this turn, Source to Plowshare is also good. Fantastic. Guess we'll take eight in the air and they'll gain five. Seems dece. Three cards, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We go to one. Whoa. Man, what's it like to have it all? Go to one. Damnation? Damnation would be pretty gas right here. That's a... Yeah. I mean, we can... Bounce their entire board. And they can only play, like, one thing at a time. I don't want to do it now, because then they just go EOT Vendillion click. Hmm. 
sure. That was an interesting play. <clears throat> Hope you don't have a counter spell on your last three cards. Whew. All right, so you have Vat, Vanser, Jace, Selfless Spirit. All right. Click. Priest, Lyra. It's actually not bad. Count the headlights on the highway. Venser is a good one to hit. <laughs> well, this is cool. Lyra gone. So, Vencer's gone, Lyra's gone. How is this real life? <coughs> so they can only play like one thing on their turn. We don't care about Jace. Spanisher Priest is obnoxious, but we don't really... We have to keep Remove Soul up for Banish Your Priest. We don't have any other way to deal with this guy, so I guess we'll just uh, leave the Spectre back this time. So we know they have Jace, Click, Priest. All the cards they have are... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have four blue. We don't have five blue. We could also just play Gaunty. We want to dissipate their Mimic Vat, though, is really the problem. I guess we could actually just... We can still play one of these things. One, two, three, four... Yeah, Legacy's Allure might be too slow here. We just have to keep one counter spell up. Okay, that'll do. That's unreal. They only have five lands, so if they actually go... Banish your Priest will remove Soul. Mimic Vat will dissipate. Okay, so you have Vat, Jace, Click, Priest, and one other card. So you can only play like two cards. One of them is Jace, which I'm not super concerned with. Oh, you can play Banisher Priest and Mimic Vat. So we have to actually get Priest because Priest is our blocker. If they play Mimic Vat, it's whatever. Like our, ideally we're gonna try to win next turn. I don't think we can, but it's possible. Yep, that's the one we got to counter. Now they play Mimic Vent. Preordain. 
This treachery is going to be pretty insane. Vat is in the yard? Oh, no Vat. Okay. Do we know what else they might have had? Oh, that's huge. Jace? Sure. Like, we can just Legacies Allure steal the Jace. Like, they're just going to sacrifice it, which is fine. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Do we just win here? How did we... What in the earth is game, dude? <laughs> Woo! Piloted like a champ, if I do say so myself. That is amazing. Wow. What a comeback. They had a million dudes on board, and they had a flip Jace and a Lyra and a Venser. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Send those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video. And if you didn't enjoy this video, let me know why. Tell me why and explain it to me and we can talk. If you want to support the content in other ways, you can uh, check out the Patreon and the Twitch link in the description below. And uh, those, those help me a bunch. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.